Let's go over to our man, Mr. Steve Rose, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show every trading day right here, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, the way you get Mastering Probability, very easy. Go over to our website at TFNN. You're going to hit newsletters. You're going to see it on the right-hand side. You just hit subscribe. You can get Steve's newsletter for one month for $149. You get it for six months for six ninety five, which is the savings of one hundred ninety nine dollars or twenty two percent, and you can get it for a year for eleven ninety five, which is the savings of five hundred ninety three dollars or thirty three percent. Now they all come, folks, with a thirty day money back guarantee. So you come, you get the newsletter. It works for you, great. For some reason it doesn't. Guess what? Thirty days later, you're going to get your money back. Great time to have a newsletter. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, just enjoying life here in Florida like so many. Uh, this is such a great time of the year, although it did get a little bit warm, I think, up in your neck of the woods uh, this it, weekend. It did. It broke <laughs> It broke records. We were, we were at 90 degrees yesterday. Wow. But oh, I'll take it. We're yeah, in the pool yeah. all day with Tommy and Tommy. <laughs> oh, yeah. perfect, perfect, perfect. Wait. You know, I, I spent yesterday, uh, one of my daughters lives in Washington, D.C. She was uh, down in Miami for a, a wedding this weekend. And nice. so she had a little time yesterday afternoon. So I drove down, uh, grabbed her, and then uh, we went out for lunch. And we went to uh, lunch and, and kind of like in an old neck of the woods. I think it used to be down in the South Florida area. We, we were at, at, at a shopping center in Bell Harbor, and they've got this nice Japanese restaurant. I've been going to it for years. Yep. And they moved from the ground floor, this restaurant moved from the ground floor to the third floor in the shopping center, which is about the worst possible space you could be at typically, and larger in size. We got there, Tom, at 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon. The wait for a table, this is a Sunday, right. 2 o'clock in the afternoon, two hours. Wow. And, and 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 I think they were wrong. I think I think it was more than that. Luckily, we found a bar. We found a, a seat at, at just a regular bar. But it is amazing the number of people that are, whether it's whether it's from Palm Beach down there that are that are that are here in Florida. I don't know if it's like that in your neck. No, of the it is. It's yeah. yeah, it is. It's amazing. And that it, that mall is beautiful anyway. That oh, it is. that is so it beautiful. Is. It almost feels like you're in Knightsbridge if you're ever there. Everything's white folks, okay? I know that mall so well, man. It's really funny. Yeah. 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 Cuz it's and, almost and like not a stuff. mall. I mean, it's so it, pretty, it, right? Yeah. It, it, right. It, it really is. It's it's a it's a nice feel, nice yeah. vibe, but but every restaurant there yeah. at, at lines at, at two o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday, which and it was a beautiful day. So most people would be on the beach was just a, a block away. I know. So, Crazy. But hey, you mentioned something Something. Uh, I wasn't going to do this. I, uh, I I had lost my presentation that I typically put together uh, for you, so so I'm just going to kind of wing it. Cool. But part of, part of that winging it though, you had mentioned you were talking about the Asian contagion, right? So this first chart that we've got on my screen, hopefully it's up. It's got white background. Yep, and, I see it. It's broken into two parts. Okay, perfect. So. Now, this uh, this was uh, uh, mentioned to me by one of the guys that were in the den as a result of a conversation that uh, Larry Pesavento had with one of with one of the guests that he typically has, which was taking a look at a uh, a correlation, an analog pattern between the Nikkei 225 yeah. uh, from back. in. so to the chart that we're actually looking at here, this is the high of the Nikkei back in uh, 1980. I think it was January 5th, 1980, when it made its high. And all I've done is I've then shifted that entirely forward to tie into the actual top, which I believe was November 22nd inside the NDX 100. So the interesting thing about these two uh, charts out here, they both made the exact same type of a top, which I refer to as a Rhodes Mintum Indicator top. It's great for identifying tops and bottoms. And, and as you know, I, I teach subscribers that. So anybody that subscribes to the newsletter, there's a, a workshop that'll teach them this entire pattern out here. But I've, I've lined these up so that they be, and look at the, so they start at the exact same time. So the top again is the 1980s top in the Nikkei and the uh, NDX is the top uh, currently for that we've got in place here that took place last year but took, take a look at this correlation I mean they look so similar they do. it looks like the same chart I mean I can see that yeah it, it, it is not it is not even close to the same chart out here now if uh, so so this so I, I have this built so that each day it automatically adds what the next movement inside the Nikkei would be and then NDX is picking up live the Nikkei is picking up the historical information but if people wanted to see what the, if if this analog and I'm not saying that it will continue you and I know that analogs eventually break apart but right now it looks pretty similar so here is what the actual analog would look like and so you talk about the Asian contagion. This is really showing us that we should have this choppy market like we do. Maybe we had a bit higher, but there is, you were talking about another leg down. Now, you're only talking about a couple weeks. Obviously, this takes it out much longer than that. But it is a, 
it is an analog that that certainly is active and it, it is it is really lining up so you mentioned the aging contagion i figured i just had to show that to you yeah nice and you know it's trading like it man <laughs> that's the bottom line it's trade and what i mean by that folks is that you get the bounces but they're very like they're 30 minutes and then the cells come in and you know yes. it's 100 points a day s p points that is and that is you know there's there's folks at the end of this week that won't be looking at their portfolio that's the bottom yes, right, line. Right, right, yeah. right, right. So if we shift over to this set of charts here, then, so we just go from that to really take a look at the market uh, here at the this this panel here. We're taking a look at the Dow and then the Dow Equity Future Contract below. We're really looking at more of a bigger picture because I take a look at the yearly chart, which you and I uh, last year, as we were coming into the end of the year, I was showing you all of the TD nine count tops that were present on an exactly. annual basis. Exactly. Right. And it was like. Wow, this is a message that we should expect or anticipate at least some type of retracement. And they were you the know? tops. Yeah. That, it, it, yeah. It, it right. I mean, the that's top. the bottom line. Those are the tops, right? It's, yeah. 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 It, we didn't know fundamentally right. what might be driving right. it, right? And right. usually the technicals do seem to be out there first before some fundamental thing yeah. floats out there. So, um, but here's what we know whether it was a fundamental aspect of what's going on right now. Uh, overseas or not. What we can take a look at is if you look at the upper right hand corner and it, where it says Dow Jones Industrials Weekly, yes. there's actually an A to B. As you know, there's an A to B equals CD to the downside. The one to one level would take us to 13021. The one to 1 1.272 would take us to 3987. This little red horizontal line here at 33741, that's a breakout level that I use that's developed based upon the TD9 count pattern against something else that I teach to uh, subscribers out here. And once you break below that, which we closed below this last week, obviously we're trading below it today, you typically seek out the next breakout area. And that's down at 30,014. Well, 30,014 gets pretty close to that 30,987 level. And that could be where the Dow is headed to over the course of the next couple of weeks. And I would love for it to get down to that area. It would be scaring the heck out of everyone, hey, including myself. Uh, but if we can see some type of bottoming signal or pattern there, that would really be a beautiful thing. Now, we are in bar number eight right now. So there is no bottoming signal here. But if we can take out the lows, uh, of uh, February out here, uh, then, and we can do that in the next couple of weeks, that would get us, uh, so we, we, we in either this week or the next two weeks after, that would give us this TD9 count pattern. And if we get a weekly TD9 count pattern right at around the breakout level of 30,014, people are certainly want to, want to pay attention to that. But, but you're absolutely right. People need to be paying attention to their portfolios now. There's not a whole lot of great information other than the fact that we haven't taken out that swing point uh, from, I think it was February 24th or February 28th out there. And, you know, on the index ETFs, I see things pulling back a little with a little bit light volume. But it looks to me like we are headed lower, whether it's that full Asian contagion or not. Uh, time will tell, but it does look like we're headed low. And folks, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. And under newsletters, you see the maximum probability on the right-hand side. Just hit that button. Steve, have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Take Thank care. you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.